Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to sh set up your new Nexus 7 device. Uh, now, when doing this, uh, first thing I always recommend is make sure you're in a Wi-Fi area, because if you're not, you might have to end up uh, changing things or it won't uh, reset properly to other Android devices you've already had. So, on that note, uh, first pick out your language, and mine is English US. And then you're going to immediately connect to your Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to connect to mine at the top right here. And then connect to it by putting in the password, which of course I will go off screen for for a second. Now, again, the reason why you want to do this is so it can restore all of your apps um, from other devices that you've used. If you do not have a Wi-Fi connection, uh, you could run into problems with this. So it's just a good idea to always have a Wi-Fi connection when setting up your device for the first time. Thereafter, you do not have to worry about that, but it's just one uh, good thing to have. All right, then you'll be connecting to the Wi-Fi as we see here. And it does take a little longer than usual. Hopefully, I put the password in correctly. Hopefully my hotspot is working correctly. Yes, it seems to be. Okay, and then once it gets to pass that step, you do have the uh, got Google question, which uh, you do need a Google account. So if you don't, uh, hit no, and then you're going to get Google. Um, and then you're just going to sign in to your email address. So I'm just going to sign in right here. And then put in your password, which I will do. And then once you're all set, you're just going to put OK that um, you want to sign in. And now that it's signing in, I'll tell you, take a few minutes. Now, all of these should be checked. Um, basically, the first part is just so everything is backed up correctly when you log in uh, to this device and other devices. Uh, the location area is just for apps so that they can use your GPS to basically make everything just function properly because some apps need GPS, so you want to have that highlighted. And communication, um, you don't have to highlight if you don't want. That's just deals uh, from Google. And now it just backs up. Now it says it can take up to five minutes, so just keep that in mind uh, when doing this, that it can take uh, as long as five minutes. And then uh, who your type belongs to, so you just put in your first name and last name. And it already knows me because of my Gmail account, and then setup is complete, and then you hit there. And this uh, gives you a brief walkthrough right here of just this will be stuff that um, you can have and you can resize it by holding it down. And this is just basically things that you can buy from Google, music, movies, books, magazines, all that kind of stuff. Oops. And there uh, you have that. And uh, if you did this correctly, you should automatically begin downloading. Uh, if you didn't do it correctly, then it won't be downloading automatically, but you can get all of your apps through all. And these are all of your uh, apps that you've ever downloaded under the all section. Uh, but as long as you set it up correctly, then everything uh, you normally download will be loading into here, which uh, mine is at the moment. If you get errors like this, it's because for some reason um, they weren't loading properly. So unfortunately, you might have to uh, reload them, which it's basically what this is doing now. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.